Welcome to Yummy Super. I'm Nemus. Today I'm going to show you how to install Tamriel Rebuilt Grasping Fortune for Open Morrowind. So the first thing I want to do is I want to make sure that I have a clean install of Morrowind Game of the Year. So here you can see I have a nice new install of it here on, on Steam. And if you're using a GOG version, that should work too. Um, I think I actually have a GOG version, but I don't remember my login for GOG, so I'm not going to be showing that one right now. Anyway, so on this one here, we just want to go ahead and click play and go into the menu one time and here on the launcher go ahead and hit play again and we just want to get to the menu just so it can generate some of those those config files for us and then we can go ahead and just exit out of this that's okay and now what we want to do is we want to go to our browser and go and get open morrowind so we can go ahead and go up here to our address bar we can go ahead and go to this link here at open morrowind and i'll put all the links and everything you need down in, in the description as we go we go ahead and go to this link here and here on the Open Morrowind page, we want to go ahead and click on the download from GitHub link. And here on GitHub, we're going to scroll way down here to where it says assets. And we want to get the most recent version of the Open Morrowind win64.exe. For me right now, that's the 0.48. If you're doing this in the future, it may be a different number, but that's okay. You just want the most recent one. So for me, as this one looks good, just click on that and download it. Okay, and here it is downloaded. And go ahead and run this exe. You can run it from here. I'm gonna, so I'm gonna do. But if you don't see it here, you can always go to your downloads folder and, and run it from there. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this. Click yes on that. And here we are in the install wizard. So I'm gonna go ahead and click next and click I agree. Now here, I'm gonna change this destination folder. This is one of those things I'm doing that's kind of like a best practice in my, in my opinion anyway. We don't wanna deal with any administration privilege stuff. So let's go ahead and just click browse. We're gonna go ahead and change our install directory to this PC, local disk, and we're just gonna put it right here on C. Click OK. So our destination should be look like this. C slash open Morrowind. That's where we wanna put it. So go ahead and click next on that and then go ahead and hit install. All right, so when you get here, it's gonna have this checkbox that says run open Morrowind. Um, now you wanna go ahead and just leave this checked when you hit finish and it'll come up with the, the open Morrowind launcher. Now what we wanna do is we wanna go and get two files. We wanna go get Tamriel data and we wanna go and get the actual Tamriel rebuild. Both of these we're gonna get off of Nexus mods. So first we're gonna go ahead and go to this URL right here for Tamriel data. And the one we want is this top one here, which is the Tamriel data HD. We want to go ahead and click on the manual download and click on download again. Now, if you don't have a Nexus account, you can go ahead and just make one real quick. It's it's free, it's easy to set up, it only takes a couple seconds. And then once you're done with that and you're logged in, right here, we can go ahead and click on slow download and it will download this file. This file is fairly large, so it's, it, it can take a while to download. Once you have that downloaded, we can go ahead and go to the, our next Nexus URL, which is this URL right here, which is Tamriel Rebuilt. And again, we want to just go for this top one, the Tamriel Rebuild 25.05 Grasping Fortune right here. We'll go ahead and just click on the manual download for that. Hit download and slow download. And there we go. All right, so once that's downloaded, we can go ahead and close our browser. So now we need to go and make a couple directories. Now, again, this is one of those things that is more of a best practice thing than a necessity. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and go to our C drive and you can see here is open more when we're gonna make a new folder right here called, so go ahead and right click, go new, new folder. And we're gonna name this open MW underscore mods. And then we're gonna go ahead and just go into this folder and we're gonna make two new folders in here. So we're gonna make one, we go right click, new folder. We call it Tamriel data. And then we're gonna make one more folder here. So right click new folder and name it Tamriel Rebuild. Now, the reason we're doing it this way rather than just dumping all the files into the, the data files directory of the original Morwin installation is that this is much more modular. It's easier to update. It's easier to add more mods later and not break things. So here we are with our new directories. We're gonna go ahead and open our download folder here. So we can get access to those, to those archives. Now you are gonna need an archival tool to open these. So you're gonna need WinRIR or 7-Zip or whichever one you wanna use. I'll put download links for those in the description. Let's start with Tamriel data. So go ahead and open the archive. And here in the archive, we're just going to take both of these. So go ahead and select both of these like so, and just drag them into your Tamriel data directory. And then we just wait for that to extract. Okay, we're good on that. So we can go ahead and close that one. Now let's go open our Tamriel rebuilt. Same thing in here in the Tamriel rebuilt archive. We're going to go ahead and just select all of this like we did last time. We're just going to go ahead and just drag it over to the Tamriel rebuilt. And there we go. We're done with that part. So let's go ahead and go up one level and then go to our open Morrowind directory here. And here's our open Morrowind launcher so go ahead and just double click on that so you may if you didn't 
check that box early, you may get this message that asks to run the Open Morrowind installation wizard. So you can go ahead and do that. If it asks, that means it didn't find the directory. That's okay, we can find it right now. I'll just show you how to do that real quick, just in case you encounter this. So we're, it's gonna come up like this. We're just gonna click next, existing installation. So we want, go ahead and click next. And it will come up as empty in here. So what you wanna do, this is pretty easy, is go ahead and hit browse. And it will come up to your Open Morrowind. That's not what we want. We want to go ahead and go to our Steam. If you're using the Steam version of the game, and let's go ahead and right click, manage, browse local files. This will take us to our Morrowind directory. And then just double click on data files. And here we are. So going up to here to the address bar, click the address bar, control C that, just copy the whole thing. Or you can right click and go copy. And then go ahead and minimize that. And back here in our browse, click on the address bar and then just go paste. And here we're gonna hit enter. And we are now in our correct directory. We wanna click on this morrowind.esm and then click open. And then back in our installation wizard, go ahead and click next. Next again, next again, and finish. And now in here, we can go ahead and change it from default to 2025.05, like so, and we're ready to go. Now you shouldn't have to do this um, unless you, you uncheck that, that box thing. Now we're in here, where we should be, we're gonna go ahead and click on data files. Um, and we want to go ahead and click on data directories. And then over here on the right side, click append. Now we wanna go here, in our browse feature, we're gonna go click on C, and then we're gonna double click on open Morrowind mods, and then we're gonna select Tamriel data, and then hit the select folder button. And here's gonna come up with the select directories that we wish to add, and we wanna check both of these, like so, and then click okay. Now we're gonna do the same thing again, so go ahead and hit append again, and select Tamriel rebuilt, and go select folder. Now in here, I'm gonna go ahead and choose the optional faction integration as well, but you don't have to, that's up to you. I'm gonna go ahead and just do it. So there we go, you can select both those like so, and then click okay. And then we're good there. So now we wanna go over here to content files. And we're just gonna check every single one of these in order as we go, like so. Okay, and once that's done, we can go ahead and go back to play. We're ready to launch the game and check to see if it's working. So let's go ahead and hit play. And here we are, let's go ahead and hit new game. It takes us into the game, we talk to Jib, and what we can do is we can go COC, quotation mark, Narciss, and hit enter. And it should take us to Narciss. And there we go, we're in Narciss. And you can see the game is working and Open Morrowind is installed alongside Tamriel Rebuilt. And that is all you have to do to install Tamriel Rebuilt Grasping Fortune for Open Morrowind.